For our landscape lesson this year, what we're going to do a little bit is focus on the garden trends for 2020. And we introduced that in a previous show. One of the ones that is very, very important this year is house plants. And of course, that is a trend that started quite a few years ago. It is growing in popularity and it is really something that, that appeals to younger generations. One of the fun parts about that is we hear the term plant parrots. So young people who are perhaps both employed, they don't have children, they live in an urban environment, they're in an apartment or a small condominium or even a, a residence hall on a college campus, they can parent a plant as opposed to a puppy or even a guppy. And one of the things that they actually like about house plants is the foliage and the textures. That is another trend for 2020 that is really strong. And when we talk about foliage, we're talking about bold foliage in particular, and then the contrast that you can get with foliage plants. Whether it is the fiddle leaf fig with that great big foliage that can actually become a tree form, whether the vertical striped form of something like the old fashioned mother's-in-law tongue, sago palm, you throw in crotons or you throw in bromeliads that have unusual textures and colors in the foliage. And that also then becomes a way for, for people who live in those spaces and like house plants to introduce color. So whether it's bold color or it is a little bit more subtle, that is a way to get color and the texture and the form in house plants without, of course, having to walk that puppy. One of the broad categories of house plants that has, of course, become wildly popular is succulents. And it just seems like one of those types of plants that the buying public cannot get enough of, probably for really good reasons. And that would be that they are come in so many unusual, interesting forms. They have great foliage. They can be a set it and forget it plant as long as you have the right light and you put them in those extremely well-drained gravelly mixes. The other beauty about succulents, of course, is that you can start small. So depending on your budget, this is actually not the smallest you can get, but you can get a very small one, give it a chance, put it in a container with a lot of larger ones so you immediately on your own patio or even in a nice sunny window in the house, you have a variety of textures and colors and forms. You create this little art form just using the succulents. And then of course, as they age, they grow, they get bigger, they turn into something that can be just absolutely amazing. Still succulents, but you've started small and you've watched that beautiful process of plants growing. Another interesting aspect of succulents, and some people like it and some people don't, is you get flowers on occasion, and they're pretty weird, but they give you a what is that if you're having guests over for dinner, if you have children. An easy one that many, many people are aware of, of course, is aloe, and aloe plants create pups, so you can become one of those gardeners or house plant plant parents who gives away the pups as perhaps a party favor if you have if you have a fabulous party at your house or good friends. And of course, if you really don't even want to take care of your succulents or any other house plants, the trend of bringing the outdoors in and the indoors out, you can buy succulents that are fake. 